Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Tujapati, and in this video, I am going to solve again an important question of Pi Spark which was asked in one of the MNC. And I got this question from a LinkedIn post only from someone. And I thought to solve this question by my own way. Right. So, uh, before going to that, I would like to introduce uh, about my uh, course. Okay, so this is the this is the course and here we have four projects like database certified data engineering geo to hero course if you want to see the curriculum you can click here course preview then build ai application using database and lm master in python with data structure and build a real time delta lake project right so i will give the link of this combo package in over the discussion this description uh, uh, box right and if you want you can explore this course Let's back to the course and here we have this. So the PySpark coding question, the input is we have one, I mean, we are giving one log table or we can say log data frame, right, which has ID and num. And uh, and we have to put, uh, we have to find out the output like this consecutive number. So in this, what is the consecutive number? One is the consecutive number which repeats three times, at least three times, right? You can see two, I mean, it is one, one one and it broken again uh, i mean we i mean the two came here and then we have one and again we have two two so two repeated only two times that's why we cannot say two is a cons consecutive number right and one repeated th uh, three three times then then i mean that's why we are saying one is a consecutive number right so let's see how we can solve this problem so simple first we will we will create a data frame right so i have created a, a, a here a data frame and then see what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna use lead and lag function okay or you can also use self join to solve this question uh, that but uh, that will be a little bit you know difficult so that's why what i am doing i am gonna use here lead or lead or lag function right so lead function what what does it um, what does it do is that it will uh, it will add a next row into the current row and lead uh, lead uh, lead function will add a, a previous row into the current row right so what does it mean is that you might not be understanding but these functions are very important right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use here window dot order by uh, id and then what i'm doing i'm using lag num1 and lead num1 okay and over a window called w Correct. Now, if I run this, these things, now you will see. Then for the DF, this, I mean, we we are doing display DF and display DF with neighbors, right? So you can see we have ID. I mean, all the input data frame. Then we have this the uh, this another data frame. Now you can see in the previous C, when I do here lag right. So what does it do? I mean, it go it it gives the previous row of this uh, this uh, this column which is null right then for this row it is one for this row it is one right for this row also it is one so that's why we we are getting here one 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 but for one the previous row is two so that's why it printed here two likewise we are doing it and for the lag for for the lead it is giving the next row so for this one uh, for this row the uh, the next row is one right that's why it is printed here one for this one for this two so that's why doing it right now to identify hey now we have the data now i want to identify which is the consecutive number so i will put a condition over here then like uh, num is equal to previous is equal to next so which is this row okay now uh, we'll 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 try to write this this thing so I will do here output is equal to df with neighbors. See filter, okay. Filter condition. Call, uh, previous is equal to call uh, num right and next is equal to num. Correct. Now if I if I just do here display of this, then we'll see what we will get it right. Da, da, da. you can see we are getting this so id2 id2 num1 previous next this now we we want only a single column right which is num so that's why i'm just printing here num or we can if you want to give a alias then we can give here alias also so let it oh okay 
yeah num right and we can set some alias what is that consecutive nums now you might be thinking hey saga this question or this code is not 100 percent works right so what we will do we will change we will try to change the data set also right so that we will understand our data set or we can say data frame right so you can see oh consecutive num right now what i'll do i will add here more thing 8 comma 2 now we'll see will it give us one or two as a consecutive number or will it only give now you can see we have a one two right because you see because if you see the raw data frame we have these two uh, you know uh, coming uh, coming here right what if if i add another row of two now we are getting here two two times right so it what does it mean is that we can put here a, a, a distinct okay we can put here a distinct see i also did not know about it right so i can put here distinct or drop duplicate or whatever now you will see we are getting a right answer right so this is how we should solve the problem first understand it try to change the data because see this is expect this was expected right maybe you know we have here five rows you know serial manner right so that's why i change the data set and then i i'm, I'm thinking okay how oh, this happened now i have to use distinct or we, we we have to drop the duplicates right so oh, hope you are getting it and hopefully you will also enroll in the courses which i am providing over the description box and on the i button so go and check it out if you like do share do subscribe to the course, do subscribe to the channel, share these videos to your friends so that they will also get some benefited. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll meet you in the next lecture.